Sa Cafet YouTube, let's make some lemon pepper salmon steaks. So guys, over here I have my beautiful salmon steaks. And I did clean it with some lime and vinegar. Go ahead and take them off because I just wanted it to drain. That way, when we're doing our salmon, seasoning it up, it's not going to break apart from too much moisture. Okay, so that is a little tip when you're making fish. Always get rid of the moisture. Okay, so as you can see, nice and dry. Get rid of any tissue. See this? Gorgeous. So to season these up, I'm going to be going in with some adobo. This is by Badia. I'm going to put a generous amount of adobo on the front side of the fish. And then we will flip it over after we're done seasoning to do the second side. All right. As well as some garlic powder. I'm also going to put just a little pinch of salt. Don't want to put too much salt. Just a little pinch will do. And last but not least, we're going to go in with our lemon pepper seasoning. Now guys, I know how gorgeous you see that lemon pepper. It's going to be so, so delicious. Yes. So now I'm just going to flip them over and do the same thing to the bottom part of my salmon stings. Yes, gorgeous. A little adobo. Garlic powder and some lemon pepper seasoning. So now you just want to be a bit careful and sort of just pat that seasoning into the fish. Be very careful about rubbing the seasonings in because listen, this has bones and the worst thing you don't want is for the bones to actually get into your hand because listen, I can't explain how horrible that feels. See this? Yes. Pat it down. Make sure. You can always just go back if you notice one of them don't have enough lemon pepper seasoning. You want to cut this till it's gorgeous like this. Okay, flip it over. Guys, this is going to be so, so tasty. Love it. So guys, do you see how gorgeous my salmon steaks look? So pretty, so nicely seasoned. So now I'm just gonna let it sit for about five minutes and we're gonna grill these. So guys, I got this amazing griddle pan from Amazon. And listen, I am about to test it out for the first time. So I'm just going in with some coconut cooking spray. See this one here? Allow it to get nice and hot. As you can see, it is already steaming hot, okay? So this is where I go in with my salmon steaks. Listen. Yes, see that? And I'm gonna put this one on that side as well. Now I'm thinking I might not be able to cook all of them, although I was hoping to be able to cook all four of them in one go, but hey, it's all right. Okay, so three of them will have to do. And you want to put your heat sort of like on a low to medium sort of heat. Don't want to put it too high. Okay, but hey, this is looking amazing so far. You also want to refrain from turning the salmon too much. Just let it do its thing. I'd say for about 3-4 minutes on that side. And then we're going to flip it over for another 3-4 minutes. So, yeah. So 
guys, this is how it's looking after about six minutes. I may have turned the fire up a little bit too much earlier, but it's got a really nice stair going on. Okay, can you see? And these are all done. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again in my next one. That is a gorgeous piece of real salmon. Love it.